Man quits smoking, let the story commence. Craig wanted to stop smoking. You know why? Because he kept going to the door Halloween, last night, Halloween. Kept going to the door, what? Like, Right, what you what you dressed up as? What you dressed up as? All oh, right, you're oh, I've not seen that for. <laughs> You've got a wee joke for me. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Chain smoking. Because remember everybody, that's what chain smoking is. That's what chain smoking actually is. Remember I told you before, that's actual chain smoking. Chain smoking is lighting one cigarette with the end of your last cigarette. That's chain smoking. Chain smoking is they just having a cigarette and then having another one after it. Chain smoking is lighting one cigarette with the end of the last one. That's chain smoking. It's hardcore. It's only for people who want to get themselves into hospital as soon as possible. Anyway, he was doing that and the Waynes were all coughing and things like that. And he didn't notice it because you know what smokers are like? They're ignorant and selfish. They, they, just, they just don't notice it. Remember, smokers sit in their fucking living rooms, smoking away, with smoke everywhere, their clothes are stinking, their skin's stinking, their hair's stinking, and they don't even know. They don't even notice it. They sit in their motors with their windies up, smoking, they don't know they're stinking. They don't know, they stopped caring long ago. So, with these wains now, they just don't know. They don't know. They're not wearing it. They don't know. Because it's one of the most selfish fucking habits that I know it's hard to stop smoking. I know it's hard to stop smoking. I'm no ass. Nobody's asking you to stop smoking. But surely you must know that blowing your smoking people's fucking faces is fucking annoying. That's not part of the addiction. Anyway. Um... So as one of the parents was walking away with the wins, they actually said something like that. <sighs> Absolutely disgusting the amount you're smoking. Disgusting you've got children here. Disgusting. The guy, the guy mumbled it under his breath. Fucking disgusting guys fucking smoking them. And Craig went, oh my God, that's right. That's right. He just realised how all night I've been exposing these wins and everybody to second hand smoke but you know what I'm going to quit and this time I mean it so he went right I'm going to st I'll stop the morning and, he, and his wife came up to him and went what's that you're saying penny for your thoughts I hang on every word you say and he said I'm thinking of stopping smoking and she went oh you're so brave you can do it I'll support you. And he went, thank you, you're my rock. And he managed to stop smoking. But remember, stop, stopping smoking is one thing. Staying stopped is another. And he especially needed a cigarette when... Um, uh, in stressful situations that's when you would reach for one and something stressful did happen somebody chapped on the door two, two weeks later and said right you right tell him there's the man there this, this is the man this is the one here this is the man here tell him you gave me chocolate two weeks ago for my Halloween it, bits it were white, like out of date, out of the out of the out of the date. 
out of date, out the date, out of date, out of date, out of date. And I gave the chocolate to my mammy and she's in hospital. Aye, right, so, you gave mommy chocolate two weeks ago and my wife had some, I know she's in hospital with coronavirus. And he went, wait a minute. He said, that's no, that's no, how's that, how's that today, what's that got to do with me? I mean, that's fucking shite. That's shite. But what's that got to do with me? The chocolate was out of date. He went, but, but, out of date chocolate doesn't cause coronavirus. And the guy went like, hold on. And he checked his phone and his wife was out. And he went, you're fucking lucky. That's all right, Mon. And they went away. And Craig was like, what the fuck was that? And he went back in the house. And his wife said, what was that? I'm scared, Craig. Are you okay? But we have to move away now. You're so protective of me. You're my rock. And he said, it's nothing, sweetheart. There was a man at the door with his child. And he said, that my chocolate two weeks ago caused somehow his wife to come become ill of, 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 of COVID-19. I can't make sense of it. And she said, we have to move away tonight. And he said, yes, pass me a cigarette, sweetheart. And she went to give him a cigarette and he went, no, wait. Remember, I've stopped. And she went, one won't they hot? He went, I don't want, I don't, I can't have even one. She said, just have one. He went, all right then, he had one. And it wasn't her fault. It wasn't her fault. He can't blame it on her. If somebody walks up to me outside and goes, there's a syringe full of heroin. I can't just blame, I can't blame him. I can't blame him for me fucking plunging that into my fucking arm. It was me that decided to do it. I can't blame that cunt. I decided to do it. Um, so, it was his fault by having a cigarette he broke a promise to himself. He broke a commitment to himself to stop this addiction. And once he fucked that up, it all went down. It snowballed like fucking dominoes. It dominoed like a snowball. He went back on the fucking bevy, which I hadn't mentioned. He had stopped for about three fucking years. Back on the bevy. Heroin. And he was on that fucking crocodile. Back on that crocodile. If you don't know what crocodile is, don't look it up. It's awful. First time I heard about that, that's when I looked it up. It's awful stuff. And he went like that to his wife. This is your fault. You're the one. She wasn't having any. She just walked out the door. She walked. She took the wains. I hadn't told you they had wains. She took the wains. And she took their boat. They had a speedboat outside. That they never used. She went on the boat. With the wains. And... Went to Guruk. She was never seen again. Outside of Guruk. She was seen inside of Guruk. She's alive and well to this day. 
hem you have to go to hospital. He started smoking. He managed to get after crocodile, after heroin, after booze, but he couldn't quit the ciggies. And eventually, <coughs> oh, eventually. <coughs> He was in the hospital. On his deathbed. And his wife and Wayne's came in. You see, he had went to a hospital in Guruk. Right, so she was seen. This was Guruk. He went to Guruk. That was one of his dying wishes. He said, please transfer me to a hospital in Guruk. Because I heard my wife, my ex-wife was there. They were still married, but estranged. And he thought, maybe if I'm in hospital here, maybe she'll visit me. And they came in. And the Waynes went, Papa, why are you coughing? Mummy, I don't like seeing him like this. Can we go? Can we go, please? Because he was like, Alive. Was alive. And uh, and he and he said to his when give me here, give me here, and he went, he went closer, for these are my final words, closer. Mummy, I'm scared. I'm your dad. Don't be scared closer, for these are my final words. And his veins got all close like that. And he said some things, but they weren't his final words. He was hoping to die there, but he hadn't. He wasn't quite ready to go, and it fucked everything up. So he went like, pass his geese on a cigarette. So he went like, <laughs> mind that I, I tend to say that I'd like, promise me you'll never smoke. But he was like, he's he's another one. <laughs> and he went like, he went like, he's his wife going to give us a blowback. I'll smoke that. You give us a blowback, but here there's another one. You like that, so, so, I'll smoke, you give a blowback, a blowback everybody, uh, where a joint, I believe, is when, there's the joint, and there's the kind of, you know, the, the roach or whatever, the bit we are smoking, am I right in saying you turn it opposite, you put the joint in your mouth, which would actually burn you, which is very dangerous, and you blow so the smoke comes out where it would normally be inhaled, you're blowing it out. You basically put the lit end in your fucking mouth, which would be TOS 
and would fucking burn your tongue and it's drugs and it's bad. And you do that, and other person's like, I've got no idea why. Yes, they're not worth it. So she gave him a, uh, so there's no cannabis involved here, it's pure, pure tobacco. So he had a smoke, he had two cigarettes, two cigarettes, that, one there, one there. While getting a blowback for her. He could feel that was him ready to go, that was him. <coughs> like, like, come here, quick, hurry up. He went like no after <laughs> and and that and that was it, and that was it. Turns out he wasn't there by the end. How do I know? Cause I was that wee boy. That's true. It's all true. The wee boy with the accent, I. Um, so I've changed my that that accent that I did. That wee boy with the accent. No, this is the accent. That's me natural. This is me putting a, a. This is I'm putting this on. This is fake. 